there is a quick question for you. How do you split your data into active and inactive users in this collection using loops or using group by? Let's see how most of the people do it. And then I will show you a one line method that is a way cleaner. So let's start with the traditional way using for each loop. So we'll iterate this collections for each dollar users as user. I will check if user has active. Then I will push the users into a separate collection. So I will initialize one collection variable as active users and I will initialize it with empty collection and same thing for inactive users. Now inside this for each loop, if user is active, then I will push this active user inside this collection and for inactive user, I will duplicate this and I will put in else condition here. I will use else condition and let's change the variable to inactive. Now after this loop, I will put dump and I will dump active users and inactive users. Yes, we have two active users and two inactive users. This works, but if you'll notice here, this is a lot of code for such a simple task. Now let's see the group by way. And here I will just group by the collections. So I will write users group by and we have the field as active and I will capture the response in a variable as grouped users. Now I will just dump the result and I will make two arrays as active and inside the active arrays, I will get the active users from this grouped users grouped users having true and I will just plug the user's name. Now same thing for inactive. So I will use inactive and inside this flag, this will be grouped false. Here we have the active and inactive users collection. Now in compared to the loop, the group by function is little bit better, but still we are doing extra steps and extra indexing. And in order to make this more simplified, we have the Laravel's purpose built method for exactly same thing, which is partition. This is going to be one line and you will have instantly two collections. The first for matching items, the second for non matching items. So let's implement this. I will use users partition and inside this we have the key as active. Now we will be using collection destructuring. So I will create one array as active users and also inactive users. Now inside the DOM, I will pass active users and inactive users. We have the same result. This is a cleaner code, fewer bugs, and it is built right into Laravel's collection method. If you have learned something new, hit that like button and subscribe programming fields for more quick Laravel.